Alright guys, welcome back to Sil Plays Legend of Dragoon. So we got our motivation to save Santa and we got our destination, Helena Prison. So without further ado, we should probably go ahead and exit. And I figured out that um, the reason it walks slowly is for some reason when neither the X value or the Y value are at full on my analog stick here, it walks. It only walks and it only runs when I have it going straight up or down because that's where X and Y would be full. So, a little weird, but should be able to deal with it. I can also use the the um, analog, or whatever, you know, the arrow keys to move with circle. Make sure I run all the time. Got another little cutscene here. And that's Helena Prison. Here we get to see Shanna for the first time. There she is in all her low poly glory. I never really understood the guards in this prison. They look like they're not wearing much or something, or they're just wearing some weirdly colored clothing. Be good in there. Oh, poor Shanna. Here's Frugo. We'll meet him quite a bit more later. Who the heck is the girl? You can tell me. Man in Hood. <laughs> See, he's shrouded in mystery till later on. Um, the world's future rests on her. That's it. This is enough information for you. Those of you who do not grasp the value should just do what your order says. I'm not taking your orders. Only His Majesty Dole can order me. Anyway, you must remember this. If you make if you make a scratch on her, I'll cost more than your head. This is a message from the Emperor Dole. Arr. This guy's got some anger issues. <laughs> He's kind of got a cool cape there. Alright, so this is the world map. Um, kind of interesting system. I can't really walk anywhere around that I want. I can only walk along these little paths here. So, kind of linear, but it's kind of nice to see where stuff is related to each other. Let's go ahead and enter this. Alright, I believe, yeah, there's first guy here we can buy stuff from, finally. Lost a squirrel, oh well. In these troubled times, you have to protect yourself. What do you think you want to buy? Want to buy something? Uh, sure, let's see what you got. What do we got? We got six healing potions. Don't need to uh, yeah, probably pick up a body purifier or two. Don't really need a charm potion right now, but go ahead and leave it at that. Don't you know how to use items? I can teach you that. Nah, I'm good. I know how to use items. I played this game before, obviously, so. I see you come again. I'll teach you how to use items. If I remember right, I feel like there's some type of. See, so you, uh, the triangle above my head is now turned yellow, which means that I'm getting closer to a battle. Now it's turned red. Might be able to make it. Oh, barely made it there. It does carry over to the next screen though, so we'll run into something here. There we are. So now we got a little bit more interesting enemies here. Oh, we should probably, uh... should probably use a healing potion. We are full health. Oh, I forgot to equip a uh, volcano. We're still gonna be doing friggin' double slash. Yes. Double slash. Two. Jeez. It's gonna take a bit to kill these guys. Yes. Double there we go. Covered the turkey. Stupid tree. Yes. Double oh yeah, when he gets low on health, he'll do some uh, more intense moves here. He's a form of magic. Oh, I don't think it's that's not bad. It's a Trent, I guess is yes. what it's called. Got a 
pellet. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and equip that other addition here. So we got addition on dart, we do volcano. So you can see it has a three three ADD or three moves addition, whatever you want to call it, so that means I have to complete it. I have to hit three different uh, three different squares correctly to be able to do the full move. Charm potion. Bit of a maze here, if I remember right, this is the way to go forward. Yeah, so we want to go get that chest first. Another battle. Volcano for you. Still pretty easy, but at least a little better than uh, double slash, right? Kill this Trent. Ah, oh, I'm only hurting like one more though. I had kind of forgot how small the values were at the beginning of the game here. It has been a while since I played this game last, last but. Uh, only three. I haven't decided yet whether I want to skip any of the um, grinding here or like just kind of, I don't know if I want to call it exploration or what, but I feel like it does add a certain amount of value to the game. I don't want to just skip through all the cutscenes and that kind of stuff. I do want to do kind of a full let's play, but at the same time there's going to be points in the game I think where I will have to um, kind of step back and just like fight the same enemies over and over again to kind of level up, you know, grinding. Um, but we'll see how it goes. We'll we'll cross that badge when we get there. We don't have to do too much here in the beginning, so Just remember right there's a, another cutscene up here. Not sure what kind of sound that is for a dog. I have no time to deal with you. That reminds me. Time to deal with the flashback though. This way, this way. This is you and uh Shanna when you were younger. Yeek, cut it out. Leave Shanna alone. I'm not sure if I'm actually saying that now, but... <laughs> just yelling in the woods. Hang in there, I'll get you out of from there. Aww. Got two of these things now. Oh, you know, one thing I'm forgetting, um, I don't even need to use potions much, all I have to do is just go into one of these battles where I only have one left and I can just guard for a while. Um, it heals 10% of your total health, so that's why it heals 9 right now, because I got 90 as my total health. Just take a couple turns here. And it also halves the damage, so generally this is the best way to heal up your players if you want to spend the time. Half of zero or half of one is 0. 0.5, it just rounds it down to zero. We'll go ahead and kill this thing now. He also it hasn't done it yet, but you'll see that sometimes instead of having to push X, I have to push circle or eh, it might have been square. Um, if the target's like um, defense is high enough, it'll be more often and it will uh, basically have to break their block. So, what it is, you have to break through their block on the mo moment's notice. So. Sometimes that might trip me up, but for the most part I should be alright. Go ahead and exit the woods here. Back to the map. Go down here. Oh, almost got there. Yes! 
Prison looks like a, I want to say like a tiki head or something like that. Whatever those uh, those statues are. But, uh, how can I sneak in? Oh hey, nice timing. Do a bit of a uh, smuggling in here. See, good meat and fish. Sir Frugo will be happy. You bought a lot. Oh, you bought a lot recently. Is there something going on? It's not the business of a merchant like you. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll inspect the load. I gotta do action events here to make sure he doesn't find me. Not sure how he doesn't see me there, but. Very thorough inspection. Lower the bridge. Now. I like how there's a guard tower there that nobody's using. So here's the inside of Helena Prison. Probably see a bit of this. Um, I'm not sure if I, I really don't know. I, I might have to do a bit of grinding here. If I do, I think I'll probably skip it. Um, try not to go through any of the storyline off screen. Um, kind of make it a full let's play that way, but I don't think I really have enough to talk about during the grinding sessions to make it interesting enough to watch, so. Go over here, and I believe, remember right, the save points heal you up too. No, oh, maybe not. Thought they did. Anyways, we'll go ahead and save here again. So yeah, anyways, we're in a hell and oh yeah, this guy. So this merchant guy, he's gonna be like, oh my gosh, those guys stowed away. I just gotta kill a guard. It's funny how the guards don't raise a big alarm in this. Like, we'll have to fight quite a few guards while going through this prison, yet they always seem to be surprised when I show up to the next one. So, lack of communication, I suppose. Five. Yes. Let's see, Tell circle. Go. Volcano. Yeah, of course, you're gonna throw an item. See, since these guards have more um, defense, it more often does the circle, the block break, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Help me. I'm just a delivery man. Be quiet, I'm not going to kill you. Oh, okay. I won't make a noise. So this guy becomes a merchant, basically, we can uh, buy stuff from him. Oh hey, if you're short on items, just tell me, I'll sell those too. Let's see, oh, whoops. Go 
and see what he has here. We don't really need any angels per since we don't have more than one uh, party member right now. They're just like Phoenix Downs essentially. Got enough healing potions for now. I, I for one don't really use the attack items too much in this game. Um, they can be useful, you have to just, um, for most of them you have to just like mash X to get them uh, to do more damage, but I don't know, I've never found them too great. I suppose they're more useful for like non-high DPS characters, for example Shanna, she can do quite a bit more damage with a uh, with an attack item than with her regular attacks. Yes. Go. I always imagine Dart like shouting his move names in the person's face after he does them. Yes. Go. He's just like, okay, no. As the guy dies on the ground. Alright. I think I need to go this way, if I remember right. Uh, I think I can get an item up this way. Nope, guess not. I think we come back to that that ledge later. Um, it, it has been a while since I played this game, obviously. So, it might take a little bit of trial and error to figure out where I need to go. I remember the general gist of what happens, but I forget a few of the specifics sometimes. The nice thing about Helena Prison is mainly we just need to dodge the guards if we don't want to battle. Man, so intense. I think we have to come back later to get that chest. Oh no. Go ahead and fight this guy real fast. Yes! Go! Volcano! Whoops. So I feel like these battles might not be terribly interesting for viewers to watch through. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly how, should, how I can remedy that issue. Um, I might. Oh, gosh, I'm doing terrible. Sorry, I'm trying to think here. Um, I might just try like either skipping the battles, but I feel like that kind of would be. It kind of removes you from the gameplay. I think that what I might do is just not talk during the battles, and I'll just uh, speed them up. Um, that way you can see kind of what happens. If something important happens, I'll uh, I'll make sure I put the battle into the actual Let's Play. But um, but for the most part, these battles that are just kind of repetitions of each other, I think I might just uh, just speed them up, um, make it a little easier to watch, since it's just essentially just the same thing happening over and over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, speed through this battle here real fast. And if I remember right, I think we need to go in here first before going up that elevator. Yeah, this looks mostly correct. Gotta dodge a few guards here. Oh, there is a chest down here I kind of want to get. These guards are a bit oblivious. Oh, 
clothes. I guess this is just a chest room, but no matter. Oh yeah, expert dodging. Okay, so we do need to go up this carriage here. I believe Sant Shan is up in this uh, section of the prison. So we'll be meeting her pretty soon here. I think we also get to meet Lavitz here. Yeah, I think we could meet him first. Lavitz is one of my favorite characters of this game. <laughs> oh, no, I guess these are just regular guards here. We're gonna meet him later, I suppose. You have such bad luck, you regret not being killed on the battlefield. What do you mean? Do you believe that you can live comfortably in a jail? The head ward Fruga will f uh, feed you to the monster. Oops. Feed us to the monster? You won't. Uh, I won't let you humili humiliate us anymore. Oh, feisty, feisty, it's the worst kind of POW, but the best kind of feed. If you want to kill me, kill me now. I won't let him. Oh yeah, here he is. Here's Lovitz. Him and his uh, spear moves. You, you bastard, you broke out of the jail. Silly guy, you think you can escape from here alone? I'll take care of this. You can survive and go back to Indel's castle alive. Tell King Albert. <laughs> Knocking it over with your tight hands. Aw, oh, they died. I take care of those guys. Lavitz and his awesome moves. Is this civil war? You, who are you? Are you Doc of Basil too? Aw, oh, yeah. Who are you? I am Dart, I am not your enemy. I am Lavit Slammer. Slammer, I never knew that was the last name. I am the head of the first knighthood of the kingdom, of Basil. Of Basil. Well, it seems we don't have time for introductions. No, we don't. Ooh, different type of music here. Oh, never mind, just an error in the audio there. Unfortunately, this emulation isn't set up perfectly, so there will be some errors in the audio and graphics. Um, oh gosh, let's see if I can do Lavitz's move here. Lavitz is one of those characters that's a little bit hard to get his moves correct. He has some weird timing. Like, his, his first move is always a lot later than other people's, even though he runs up faster than most. Yes. Know, maybe it's just me, but he always seems a little bit hard to get down. Especially when coming back to the game for the first time. Nice part about having two characters though is that since we get to go one or twice yes. in one turn, oh gosh dang. Since we get to go twice in one turn, normally we're able to kill one guy that turn, and therefore he won't be low on health next turn, which means he won't often use <laughs> items. Oh sweet, we did kill him. Yes. Some of Lavit's move, especially later on, it's really hard to do the uh, the block break thing. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that one later. There we are. Now, depending on which character kills the last enemy, it always plays his animation and zooms in on his character there. So, kind of cool. I will carry out your wish. You said, Dart, I cannot imagine there is somebody who intentionally comes to Helena. What are you up to? I am here to rescue someone important to me. Do you know anything about her? Her name is Shanna. I am sorry, but... I'll look elsewhere. Wait. I'll go with you. I think you had to go back to the castle as soon as possible. I thought you had to go back to the castle. She's important, this girl you are looking for. It's my problem. It was my fault. I don't know who brought you here, but Helena is not that easy to go through alone. That goes for me too. But I can break her, but I can break out from here together with you. Of course with the girl. How come you trust me? We've just met. 
The raid you made was quite impressive. I trusted you to guard my back. That's the way I think. Alright, let's go together. Alright, sweet. If I remember right, some of these some of these cells have some um, chests that I can loot. Oh, guards forgot about those. They're pretty easy to dodge in this for the most part. Is it this one? And they respawn every time you uh, exit an area, so as long as you get to an exit there, should be alright. I think it's probably the next room that Shanna's in. Yeah, here we are. This is the Shanna, but another chest. This is the one I remember most. <laughs> she looks a little scared. Frugal's coming, Frugal's coming to kill me, Frugal, Frugal's. She's a bit scared of Frugal, it seems. Um, I thought it was here, maybe she is in another area. Oh jeez, I think this is where I came in. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. So we'll go back out here. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so we gotta fight this guy, and then we can uh, go up that elevator he just came down in. I think that's where I come back later to fight Frugal. So over here should be where Shannon is. Oh yes, I remember this part now. I believe we gotta go through some other stuff first. <laughs> I don't know how they didn't see me, but security's tight. So we gotta go up and around this way. No, maybe it is later on in the game. I thought it was later on in the game. There's a little shiny thing there that I gotta pick up here soon. The room is extra tightly guarded. Huh? What about this key? Take it with us. We'll need it if the girl called Shanna is under confinement. Of course, you know, just... <laughs> of course, this key happens to be the one to Shanna's cell. Not like there could be other people in this prison. But why only that girl? I intend to ask that directly to the head warden. Well, aren't you bold, Dart? But that's after we rescue Shanna. Oh, you know what it is? That key probably opens up that, yeah, this area over here. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. I forget quite a bit. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna end the video here. Um, go ahead and start the next part, so hope to see you guys there. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, if you like, um, if you like these videos, hope, or make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So, see you guys soon.